I'm here with Mark Brian Wilson, and he's gonna take us to his world, his world of puppetry and wonder. So let's take a look. All right. Take us there, why don't you? Come on along. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 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 ah, closet. Oh. oh, this reminds me of the movie Monsters in the Closet. Well, you know, my studio is very small, and maybe sometimes it's... <laughs> Well, it's actually bigger than this. Okay. Because these are some of my studio jackets from oh, wow. Ray Boss Films. Oh, okay. Just, but if you look way in the back of the closet, okay. you realize I'm that looking. this is much bigger oh, wow. than it appears. <gasps> this is amazing. Come on. Oh my goodness. Come on. Guys. Let's see. God, this is amazing. Oh, thank you. Come on in. This is so amazing. How did you do this? I, I built all this. Uh, I decided when I had a studio that I wanted a secret passage mm -hmm. to get me into my studio and a place that I always wanted to create in. So this is uh, the doorway. Okay. So we have to know the combo, <laughs> which is six, mm -hmm. seven, yes. eight, four. <laughs> Now that is awesome. <laughs> this is the camel from Team America World Police. Oh wow. That is pretty awesome. So it's a marionette. Uh, all these versions mm -hmm. had to do was stay kneeled and then the heads could be raised and lowered to make them appear alive. So these were used in the Cairo street scene mm -hmm. on Team America. You want to try the, yeah. try the control? Team America, that was one of my um, favorite films, actually. It's in my top 20. This, wow, this has some, some it's heavy. Yes. It is not. <laughs> yeah, actually, it helps to have a little bit of weight, especially in a marionette, that they, they pull down, that they're not so light. Oh, can they it? Float. Yeah, you can take okay. it. Yeah, it's foam latex, and it's flocked. Was how oh, wow. Was and then there's a slinky in the neck. Okay. Covered with some foam and fabric, which gave it a nice so series just, of circles so that it wouldn't collapse. This is awesome. And the strings are, well, is it a special kind of string? Or yeah, just actually, uh, we had these custom designed or custom dyed by okay. Portland uh, String Company. They This is kind of a neutral gray, okay. kind, of a, kind of a medium. So it's not black, it's not white, it's kind of in the middle, and that's what uh, they developed on Team America. Oh, okay. Is there a reason that it's not a certain, is it this color? It, it's, uh, it blends into the background a little bit better. If you went stark black and you were against a white sky, then that would show up or vice okay. versa. So this was kind of in the middle of the range. This is, uh, it's heavy. I don't know how in the world you, you're able to do yeah. that. Because <laughs> my arm, and it's only been like a minute and I'm ready to like drop my yeah, arm. It's just practice and you know, you, each, uh, each skill is just a little different. So. You, you you learn what it takes to make the character come to life. <laughs> <laughs> and 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 obviously this is from Team America once again, but yeah. the puppets like this is a scale of it. So I'm thinking the puppets The humans would have Yeah, the human that's puppets yeah. would would have to be about all the people cast. I think that. they were eighteen or twenty inches tall, maybe twenty four. That is, that is I think amazing. they were a third life, uh, which was great. When they, they planned it all out, they decided they could get a lot of props from dolls <laughs> mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Uh, but the, the saddle was made by the prop department. Uh, I was in charge of creating the sculptures and the shapes for the mm -hmm. body. Uh, we had somebody in charge of the fabric. Uh, somebody else did the flocking and the painting. And you were the puppet master of the, uh, the set because of the puppets, right? right? Yeah, I was in charge of charge all of the set. I was the puppet master on Team America World Police. So <laughs> any puppet that was in front of camera uh -huh. on first unit, I was yeah. there making sure that the puppets were working, that the strings were in place. Wow. If a string would break, break at the last second, I would have to get in there, get through the costume and uh, tie the string back on and pull the costume. And it's 
it's very involved because if that string comes out of the costume at the wrong place, you see a little tuck or a pull every time in that place. So it's getting it, knowing that where the string comes out and mm -hmm. where it's going to be pulled from. Uh, I, I've built marionettes for lots of years, so a lot of that is experienced through years of, of working with the characters and stuff. So is there, I, over here, I noticed there's some hands and some interesting things you got here. Yeah, these that are some from, heads and... from some personal projects. I build marionettes all the time and I build mm -hmm. puppets. Uh, but these are sculpted hands mm -hmm. and they're done over a wire armature. All of these were the different wires that went into the fingers. Mm -hmm. And I wrapped them with a thinner wire and then this is all was sculpted up and then sanded out to create the create the hands. Oh. Oh, they're heavy. Yeah, but the, 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 the end result was not nearly as heavy. Oh, okay. It was ca cast out of a lighter re resin. We, I did silicone molds on these. But, oh, um, that's, uh, that's pretty amazing. But I, when I'm sculpting them and stuff, I move them around because it's oh, okay. about you know, how that, you know, does it come to life as a, as a character? You know? Oh, okay. Oh, oh two different. See, I thought so it was... It's right and the left. Yeah. Ah, so. Oh, wow. That's so cool. So just just different styles you need for different puppets. This is more of a comedy, a clown or something yeah. that was a ballerina. So I've sculpted lots and lots of hands, even realistic ones. And these were actually for a, a gift for the Dalai Lama. Oh. Uh, these were the original uh, hands. Uh, Scott Land made a puppet which he was commissioned for, but I did the did the hands. And they for were him. a gift for the Dom, Dom for the Dalai Lama. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So uh, you know, I, of all the things, you know, there's a puppet that I've worked on, or at least parts of it. In the... oh, I'm sorry. And then other puppet heads were, you know, sculpted out of clay, and then I made molds, and then so this was uh, the end result that would have been in fiberglass. That reminds me of um, Punch and Judy. It was very much like that. Yeah. Oh, okay. These, these were for a gift for my sister for uh, for her wedding. Oh. I, the, I don't have the Judy head, but this was the, the punch. And so it was cast in fiberglass was the end result. Is this is a plaster. Oh, that's plaster. That is so cool. And then this one is out of paper clay, just like the skeletons on the mantle. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, hope that didn't get on camera. <laughs> and I... And you have some little teeth hair and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, so one of the things that by being in special effects makeup I always thought was great was teeth. <laughs> and uh, you do a, a cast of your own teeth so that they fit on. And that's the impression on the inside that fits very libera, uh, deliberately onto my own teeth. And then that would have been a set of... And you, you don't <laughs> use those now, do you? No, actually they don't fit anymore. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, through, through time your teeth actually um, change shape in your mouth. They move around and mm -hmm. so uh, these teeth were probably made in the 80s. So. I've had dental work and you know uh, bridges and appliances, so you know, <laughs> nothing fits anymore. And just like a pair of comedy teeth. <laughs> wow! Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> they they still look great though. Oh, thank you. Oh, okay. uh, so then I wanted to we, oh, here. Okay. Is a set of the, these are the teeth that I made for Thriller. These were my actual teeth. I got to make my own. Oh wow! And then. Uh, Thriller. And take these. So that's the lowers and this is the uppers. That is. And what do you make these out of again? Those are dental acrylic. Oh. So you would do a clay sculpture, then another mold is made. And then that's uh, put in, the, the acrylic is put into the mold. <laughs> and then oh, that's there the, you go. That's how the teeth And that is the teeth. <laughs> That is really good makeup. So that's me. <laughs> I've, I've done no other makeups I would think of, but I actually did the makeup in Thriller, which was, you know, if you had to do one makeup in a lifetime, I guess that was the film to be part of. So. Oh, okay. So, so that's me under there. It, it seemed like a, a lot going on. Like, is, was it heavy or? No, 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 no. no? It's, those are uh, foam latex appliances. Oh, okay. And so those would have been uh, cast very light and flexible. Uh, so we would have applied the makeups, but then like I did the hands, so the hands would have just slid right on because that's why I put them on the gloves. That is so amazing. Teeth from, from Thriller. <laughs> 
I never thought it, when I saw that saw it as a little girl mm -hmm. that I would actually be holding something from Thriller. Yeah, so those, are, is... those are my screen used teeth. I only did one set. Okay. And Rick said that we could take them home after the end because they were, you know, fit just us. So, oh, okay. I mean, he could have probably ground out the insides and used them on other shows, but I thought it was very nice to be able to take home that oh, momentum. Okay. And I see you have a head here. <clears throat> yeah, this is just a personal project, uh, a vampire, oh, screaming vampire. So this is made in uh, latex and polyfoam. Oh, okay. That's amazing. Dental acrylic teeth again, epoxy for the, the slime and the... The eyes. So this was sculpted in, the, in clay. Yeah, you can squish, the, squish the side. In the hair? How did you Those are, are bristles from a, a paintbrush. I really wanted them to stick out, so I cut the bristles out of a bristle brush, mm -hmm. and then I poked them in just like you would poke in hair for a, for an appliance or for a makeup. Maybe not that heavy at all. And then I painted it and designed it and did the whole thing on that. <laughs> So when you're creating things like this, you could just, people usually use whatever is around. Mm -hmm. I mean, just pick up something and put it in there and paint on it and it works. Very creative. Very, very creative. Yeah, so that's, you know, I did that probably five or six years ago. So that's after 20 years of learning how to do makeup and, and anatomy. That's, that's and, fascinating though. Yeah. That is really good. Yeah, these are from the Adams family. I did these uh, for David wow. Miller. These were actually some rejects, so I actually patched them up so I could have copies, because you don't often get to have stuff from movies. Mm -hmm. uh, but this was the golf tee hand. Yes. So when Go Gomez is knocking golf balls at the mm -hmm. neighbor's windows, uh, this was used instead of putting the actor's real hands there. Mm -hmm. uh, the first time he swung, he took off several of the fingers. And <laughs> so the makeup effects artist had to put it all back together. So good thing it wasn't a real person there. <laughs> But that's uh, you know just a, it's a rubber hand and the, the fingers are somewhat flexible. So it was my job to take the clay life cast and I'd go in and clean up all the details, and sometimes I'd have to add sections or whatever. So that is it, they amazing. They had to had to look real. And then this was a hand which I think was on a sword. Yeah. So it's sw swinging through space and it's it's holding on. And then uh, part of the change in design is I flared all of the wrists on all of the thing hands. Mm -hmm. I also did all the appliances for the wrists that went on the magician who was uh, was the hand for thing. Oh, wow. That's amazing. <laughs> so many surprises. Yeah. And I see some eyeballs. These are the librarian's eyeballs. Oh, snap! Oh, sorry. <laughs> 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 uh, these are the, the color mock-ups. We were supposed to do the transition into the second phase, so this would have gone all the way through phase two, but we ended up just using the first part of it. So these are uh, the eyeballs. Oh, the actual eyeballs. These are the actual filmed eyeballs, eyeballs. of the librarian. Ah, that's, that's, so awesome. that's all I have left That is over. amazing. Look at them. They never changed. Yeah, and they have like a little clear lens. So, um, have you done anything to, oh, this is exactly I, I just, how they... I, I cleaned them up. You just cleaned them yeah, up? Yeah, no, they they were actually glued into the rubber, and okay. then on the back is an eyelet, and that eyelet would have been attached to a string, okay. which would have pulled into the socket deeper, and, but they would have been glued onto the rubber skin, so I've cleaned off all the adhesive and all the rubber for her. Oh, wow, that, Went away years ago. That is, that's so awesome. Gosh, the, so much history in the work you do. Yeah, very fortunate that I was in the career uh, and starting out when I, I did, because in the 80s, mm -hmm. a lot of the makeup effect shops were looking for people that could build and perform. Mm -hmm. And so I came in with the ability to do both. I was an expert fabricator, at least starting out at that point, becoming an expert fabricator, mm -hmm. but that I was able to see things as they needed to come to life and that they needed to move around. Now here is a skull from Fright Night. <laughs> So this Sorry. would have been Billy Bones' uh, head. Oh, wow, okay. Uh, this was okay. The, the first cast out of the mold, but I did it all in black. Uh, but I was having more trouble painting the teeth than it was worth. Okay. So I did a second casting uh -huh. where the teeth were cast in dental acrylic. So they were bone colored mm -hmm. and looked just like the, the dentures that I showed you. But then this is the one that slides against the wall. And is... Oh, that's... Oh, that's right! Yeah. So <laughs> this would have been, you know, on his yeah. shoulders to start with as the deterioration. Uh -huh. I also did the hands, which deteriorate. I created several layers of gloves versus latex sculpted mm -hmm. shapes that were added to get him to fall apart. That jaw's not attached. Okay. That is so cool. 
<laughs> Good evening. <laughs> that is so cool. Ah, oh, to and he's hollow. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that was cast into silicone mold, and then the second one was the one that was used, and I don't think any other uh, things were done in that mold. So you can go fright night. <laughs> <laughs> That is really cool. That's amazing. Any other, but okay, the room alone, um, you built it. It looks like a submarine. Yeah, this is this is my <laughs> studio. The, the, the inspiration was uh -huh. the, the Nautilus from 20,000 Leagues, the Disney version. Okay. Uh, art directed by Harper Goff. Mm -hmm. uh, big fan of his work through Disneyland. He did a bunch of designing, but mm -hmm. definitely uh, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. Mm -hmm. And so the pipe organ was something that I created out of found objects and stuff to create the, the look of a, of a vintage pipe organ for my studio. And that mm -hmm. kind of started it. And I built brackets. I did sculptures for the ceilings, uh, cardboard tubes to look like big iron tubes. And they're mm -hmm. sprayed with texture paint and patinaed and antiqued. And then I also made uh, fluorescent fixtures and did covers for them so that they appear more vintage and they don't look like something you bought at the local hardware store. On on camera it looks more, but in person it ju it's just amazing. You yeah, can so see the detail work and the time. I mean, it's it's amazing. It's like you're you walked into another place. Mm -hmm. That's so it's it, a little step into my mind, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> and the the painting there, you he did the painting there. Right. Yeah. I, uh, I'm an artist pretty... on several different layers. I mm -hmm. mainly am known for my sculpture uh, and my performing. Uh, but for myself, I've done several paintings. This one is acrylic on hardboard. Uh, I found the uh, frame. It had the Last Supper in it. and But it was a piece of cardboard which was kind of stained and falling apart and bent. And I thought, that's the frame. For five bucks I can get a frame. Uh, and it was kind of a muted gold. So I uh, did gold leaf uh, to bring the frame back and then I created a painting, designed it myself because I wanted the, the shot of mm -hmm. the, the, sub, the Nautilus submarine crashing through the sailing ship. And so that, that was one of mine. That is so, it's, it's just an amazing experience to, to walk into your life's work. Um, I mean, from Thriller to the Adam's Family, Fright Nights, we have some eyeballs here. Yeah, but just, <laughs> from yeah. Ghostbusters and, and, and Slimer right here, too. <laughs> I mean, it's just, to I me mean, hands. I'm not, and, not as green anymore. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, had, he got that cleared up. Yeah. <laughs> But but it's just amazing to to walk into this. Thank you so much. Thank I, you. Uh, the appreciation is beyond anything I can describe. Lovely, I've enjoyed that having it's, you. I mean, it's just amazing to see the hands-on work, what goes behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. a lot of, not a lot of people know about it or see it. Right. Uh, so I really wanted people to understand that you know hands-on is sometimes the best way to go. Right. I mean, to really give emotion and appreciation to art. Before you go, there's yes. one more thing I'd really like to show you. Okay. I mean, in part of this room, part of the magic, I always wanted to have it come to life. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's, That's cool. Good. Thank you so much for having. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. And thank you for watching Horror Movies and Beyond. And have a good day. Thank you. <laughs>